Hi, I'm Andre, and I'm a black nerd. And I'm here with the cast of Power Rangers Dino Charge. Yeah. <laughs> Sexy Andre. <laughs> well, this will be professional, I promise you. Hey, my name is James, and I play Chase the Black Ranger. Hello, my name is Brennan Mejia, and I play Tyler the Red Ranger. My name is Yoshi Sidarso, I play Coda the Blue Ranger. Hi, I'm Claire Blackwelder, and I play Kendall Morgan. Miss Morgan to you. Yes, I, I was told I was told earlier only refer to her as Miss Morgan, hey. so. I told you, you can call me Kendall. Oh, cool. Yeah, we're, we're friends now. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, on, we're on first name level right now. I call her Kendall. You call her Miss Morgan. Hello, my name is Michael Tabor, and I play Riley, the Green Ranger. Hey, guys. I'm Camille Hyde, and I play Shelby, the Pink Ranger. Liam Hemsworth, if you're out there. <laughs> Wow. I love you. Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, I'm telling Michael I want, B. Jordan. Yeah, oh yeah, she's Michael cheating on Michael B. Jordan right now. Mm. Liam Hemsworth or Michael B. Jordan, who would you pick? Uh, <laughs> comment, subscribe, no. <laughs> you know how to comment. Comment. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have officially poached the Black Nerds channel. I am now the white nerd. <laughs> If I see like uh, Amelia Clark walking on the street, I will propose. You know, wow. you know, destiny calls, right? Oh, He's already no. bought the ring and everything. It's yeah. true. Okay, at least I have one person. You know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> She's got a plan A and a plan B. It's all right. I'm a plan Michael B. You know? <laughs> Well, you know, uh, the things that I nerd out about are mostly like Shakespeare, classical piano, and Tolstoy. But I do love Game of Thrones, so there's that. Yeah. That's like my thing. Harry Potter, too. Anything Star Wars, anything Arrow, Justice League, Legend of Tomorrow, uh, The Flash, DC Comics. Mm -hmm. I think we have a little too many fandoms back here. What has this experience been like? You're now part of the Power Rangers legacy. It has been really amazing to come into this. I, I mean, I haven't... Um, I haven't grown up with the TV series coming from New Zealand. We only had the Mighty Morphin movie, but we're we're now getting it back. Yeah. Um, but um, it's it's been really amazing coming into um, such a, a wonderful legacy of of tons of people like doing such amazing work throughout 22 years, right? 22 years. So um, it's really cool to 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 join uh, into this and, and have such a big fan base to begin with. <laughs> Excuse me, before we even start. <laughs> it's so beautiful. So thank you. What's interesting about this season, because you know, the, the last season, Super Breaker Force, it was all about like, oh, here's all these rangers that people can turn into, that you can go back to past rangers, whatever. So it's almost like you guys are a little bit of a, a fresh restart of just, you know, bringing it back to sort of just a classic one team style. So was that something that was a little bit of pressure on you guys of just being like, hey, we got to bring it back to basics, show our showcase our characters and, and get people behind us. I think it's really cool that we're doing that, and I think it's um, it's also the fact that this is Chip's first, you know, baby. You know, mm -hmm. it, I mean, he's always been a part of Power Rangers. He's done a lot of seasons, as you guys all know, and he was a part of the biggest seasons. You know, Time Force, SPD, you know, a little bit of RPM. So it's kind of cool to see him have such amazing um, creative control over the season and he's so passionate about it oh that it makes us that much more passionate about it and it's exciting and he allows us to take these characters and he makes them ours mm -hmm. I mean the, these characters I, I feel like we've grown with these characters the characters have such intricate stories and we all kind of have to grow and we all have our own journeys and we help each other find ourselves um throughout the story there's so much heart in our series and you know the characters that are in the story are just so special each of them in their own way and it's so amazing how all of our characters help each other on our separate paths. Yeah. So that's... And also, like, being associated with Power Rangers, going into it, we all knew that there was the legend of Power Rangers. And a big part of what makes up that legend is the fan base. So there always is going to be a little bit of pressure that comes with such a uh, knowledgeable fan base that's as passionate yeah. mm -hmm. and awesome as they are. So from that standpoint, there was a little bit of pressure there, but it was not a negative pressure. It was just, if anything, helped us to motivate 
us and make the best possible show that we could. It definitely shows. One of the particular things I loved about this season is that we got a nice, good set of episodes where we really got to focus on each of your characters. And do you, you feel like that really helped in people kind of establishing and getting behind each one of you and knowing your types? Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, in a lot of seasons and a lot of shows, you know, if they have a lot of action, it's really cool. You love to watch, you know, the effects, everything that's going on. But if you don't care about the characters in those battles, yeah. it makes it a little harder to relate to because, you yeah, know, there's... Yeah, invest in them. Yeah, it's so the, the fact that we got to set up our character arcs, you know, early on, let you guys be impacted by what happens to us individually and you're rooting for us more because you know that, you know, Shelby is working really hard to make it impress Miss Morgan and go on these fossil hunts and, you know, Tyler's looking for his dad. You know, we all have these reasons why we're fighting and right. working together and I think that just adds another layer yeah. yeah you know and well, uh, <laughs> something a lot of people uh have asked me you know oh was it kind of i was like oh man i saw the first episode you were barely in it like what's that about you know i thought it was supposed to be an even i loved that i was barely in it i loved that i wasn't in it yeah exactly <laughs> like you were you weren't in it we were barely in it and it was really cool because it gave them time. And then later on, it would reveal our stories. Mm -hmm. And that was really cool. I, I mean, I didn't, it wasn't oversaturated, mm -hmm. I feel like. And that's the hardest thing to do with 10 rangers. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, and that's, lots of rangers, guys. That's one thing that I thought that Chip did a really good job or amazing job at was keeping the show that fast-paced traditional Power Rangers pacing in each episode while drawing out the story and still developing us in a slow way. I thought that was a, a really good happy medium that he found there. So shout out to Chip for that. Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah. 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 Woo! And Chip we trust. Shout out to all the Chip. <laughs> he got the ladies, man. I gotta, I, wait, I gotta talk to you for a second. Oh, okay. I gotta talk to you for a second. It's, On the show, yes. you always are like, hey, what's up? Are you like that in real life? <clears throat> <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> no, it was actually quite funny because um, when we were still learning about our characters um, at, the, at the start of, or even before we started filming, just before, um, <clears throat> Michael and I were like, um, you're kind of like my character and I'm kind of like, you're. it's really funny. But um, yeah, it's, it's quite entertaining. But um, yeah, no, I, I, I came in quite shy, I think, and I, I definitely grew into my boots. He's um, not shy at all anymore. Yeah, 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 well, I try not to be. Yeah, but yeah, no, it's, um, yeah, it's really fun. And, and I, I think with every acting experience, you, you grow a little bit more as a person as well. So yeah, my confidence hey, is, do, is up do there. Do all the um, viewers of Black Nerd a favor and wink at the cameraman. <laughs> Do you know what's the most awkward thing in the world for me? I can't wink. You can't wink. I can't, can't wink. wink. He can blink. I can't. Can he does the double wink. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't. Like it's the most yeah, awkward. Yeah, 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 but it's so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm just like, oh. Yeah, oh my God. See that, like the girl putting on mascara face. <laughs> I just gotta point out. I I, I kind of got a little a little a little fan crazy when you got announced, uh, Camille, as being Shelby the Pink Ranger because you are the first African American female Pink Ranger. So I just was like, oh, it's amazing! <laughs> we won! <laughs> this is 22 years. Like I want, I seriously, when I want like when schools have like Black History Month, I want to be like. This is Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, and in, in 2014, <laughs> Obama. Obama promised change, did he not? Yes, yes. I'm pretty sure in his inauguration speech, he was just like, you know, I feel like the next Pink Ranger just has to be black. <laughs> I'm so honored to be the first African-American Pink Ranger. It's great to be you know, kind of a trailblazer in, in such a way that young girls who look like me can watch the show and um, they can see that they there there are no limitations to what they can do and you don't have to look a certain way to be a leading lady you don't have to be the old Hollywood norm um, the norm has changed now now um, there's beauty in being different and there's beauty in being ethnic and um, I hope that message. Um, is seen by by everyone of all different races. Yeah, come so, on, Hollywood. 
Come on, Hollywood. Catch up. Exactly. So, so this is this is this is a movement. You know, it's it's a, a beautiful movement, and um, it'll only get better. One of the coolest things on set, we were talking about some stuff, and I remember you coming up to me, and you were like, "Oh, you know, we were all talking about like all the different races and all these ranges," and then they're like, "Who's the Asian ranger? We don't have one." Wait. Oh, sh that's Yoshi. Yoshi's an Asian. I, we weren't thinking of it as race, and it was just we were all just rangers, you know. We were all actors together, and that was the cool thing. When you when you told me that, I was like, that's the coolest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> the future is colorblind. Hey. Mm. So is Brennan. <laughs> Oh, but that's so oh wow. Red, green, so green. are you sure you're the red ranger or is everyone just I'm red or green. I'm not sure yet. I'll find out one day. You guys keep telling me I'm red, so I'm assuming. Actually when we picked out of the hat which color we were yeah. gonna be, yeah. he was so upset that he wasn't the leader. We're like, fine, yeah, no, actually that was red. <laughs> so, yeah, Thanks, yeah. Michael. <laughs> no one tells him he's the pink ranger, okay? <laughs> doing great, man, you're doing great. <laughs> Kendall, Ms. Ms. Morgan. <laughs> you are strolling around. You are you are making sure to keep these guys in line. I'm sure you're doing that on the set sometimes as well. Oh, I don't know about strolling so much as marching, but you know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yes, I do it on set as well. I'm sorry, guys. I correct their grammar like every five seconds. I word. like. I, I had to tell them today that heartfelt is one word. I correct Camille's usage of certain words sometimes too. I tell Yoshi to eat more greens. I taught them how to do vocal warm-ups in the morning because when you first show up on set and at 6 a.m. it's really hard to start speaking. Yeah. You have to enunciate. So. Oh, can you do your, um, you do your oh yeah, show us your, Oh boy. Alright, let's do this. Well, alright, so every morning I'd come to set and first you start with, you know, a couple like and then you go with the, uh, what did you do to die today? It's a minute to two to two. I think distinctly hard to say, but harder still to do. The, be a tattoo at 20 to two with the rat to ta 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 to The dragon will come when he hears a drum in a minute to two to two today. It's a minute to two to two. Two. Two households, both alike in dignity, in fair Verona where we lay our scene. From ancient grudge break to new mutiny where civil blood makes. And then you go off on the Shakespeare thing. I was like, you're just you're just a few bars away from just being like straight up rapper now. Yeah. Oh, she is a rapper. Oh what? Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Spit some hot fire for us, guys. I don't know. Oh, come on, do it, do it. I gotta, I gotta keep it. I gotta keep it PG, man. Keep it PG. Radio edit yourself. Uh, let's see. Um, you're uh, Not no. That is explicit. <laughs> <laughs> I just I got a little bit of Kindle right there. No. Yes, yeah, see, see what we mean. Yes. Um, no, that's explicit too. <laughs> I was gonna be like, I can do every Lil Wayne song in the book, but she is, she is the biggest contradiction to herself. She is the biggest contradiction. I mean, she's like all oh, this classical piano, very you know, and then she goes out of nowhere and busts the rap. We're like, oh, what? <laughs> We're learning so much about you. I can't watch the show the same way now. I, I, uh, like, I know what happens when them glasses come off. She's all like, whoa, what's up? Claire B in the house. <laughs> I'm not candle anymore when the glasses come off. I'm, I'm C Black, man. <laughs> King Burger on the mic is a queen, so listen to me sing. She wants one number three super size on your rings. Whoa! Album drops, album drops, EP drops. EP by C Black, aka Clever Dactyl, aka Miss Morgan, aka. I don't, I'm, I'm just, I don't know. Stop me, somebody. You heard it here first, man. You heard it here first on World Star Black Nerd. <laughs> World star Dino charge, Dino charge. This is going exactly how Saban planned. <laughs> so kids, check out Nickelodeon for Power Rangers Dino Charge on new episodes come out August 29th. Nickelodeon. <laughs> No, you guys are an absolute pleasure. It's so great to yeah. talk to all of you. We love you too. You're yeah. so much fun. Power Rangers Dino Supercharge. Catch a brand new episode every Saturday at noon. On Nickelodeon. Nick, 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 Nick. Nickelodeon. Take us out, C Black. Nickelodeon. Woo!
Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking of Power Rangers Down in Charge and what do you think of this cast, which I think is an amazing, fun cast, both on screen as well as off. You guys have been great. Thank you so much. All right, awesome. Please, yeah, subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. We love you like a play, cousin. We're at 5,000. Chain chop. Yup. We did it. Yeah.